my name is Logan Schmitz, and I am an illustrator. I work in the music industry a lot, making gig posters for bands. Uh, most of my work is screen printed, and I make my own prints to sell in different shops all over the region and the state. So, I mean, I first found out about Tucker County maybe two years ago. I was really drawn to the art scene here because it was just everywhere. Morgan from Bloom and what was once Lamplight Gallery asked me to do a show down here. So um, that was when I first visited Tucker County was to do that show. Like when I went into Bloom, like there was just a bunch of artists there that had shown there, had worked there, and they were just super excited to meet a new artist, I guess. So and I was really excited to meet all of them. It was really cool. We got some really good burritos and we could kind of just like explore and just see what it was all about and visit all the galleries and the shops. We come to Tucker County about once a month, just to visit, really. <laughs> um, but in the warmer months, we'll come down and go backpacking or we'll go kayaking. Like last year, we did like a two-day like Cheat River kayak trip, which was really fun. Or we just come down for when there's art, you know, the art walk happening, we come down for that. Or um, Art Spring is really fun, so. When I'm working for myself, I get to, to kind of just like tap into like my direct like line of inspiration that's kind of always there and just put that on the paper and Tucker County has been a big influence on um, my work since I've been back in West Virginia, especially with like some of the color schemes I've chosen and like a little bit of the subject matter and the landscapes. We took a visit to Ellicola Falls, maybe our like third visit here. And the colors and the rocks there, like the orange and like the blues and greens that are in there, like was really, I thought very unique. So I took that and when I did a, um, an Avett Brothers poster, I used that kind of color scheme in the rocks there. It was kind of inspired by this area, so. I think this area is a little more like like a little more magical, I guess. So maybe partially because it's so untouched, you know. It's incredibly meaningful for me to be able to make the work that I do in the state that I grew up in because my whole life, you know, you hear people say you need to like get out of West Virginia and leave and go somewhere else, go to you know New York or Columbus or Pittsburgh or wherever. It's nice to be able to, I guess, prove some of those people wrong, <laughs> you know? Like, and there's so many other people doing it here too. It's just, it's not, you know, it's not just me at all, of course, but like, it's just nice to be able to live where I want and make the work that I want and be able to showcase the state that I live in and like all of the natural beauty here.